Hey guys, welcome to another episode of UA Eats. I'm UA and this will be my last video featuring the Jersey City area for a while, but I wanted my last video about Great Eats in Jersey City to be at Twins Hot Chicken that just opened in Journal Square. This restaurant may be new, but it's one of the best chicken sandwiches and one of the best chicken tenders you'll get in the whole city. And also they make amazing mac and cheese. Now they specialize in Nashville hot chicken and I love Nashville hot chicken. A few months ago, I went to Nashville and I ate all the hot chicken places there. I ate Hattie B's, I ate Prince's. I left and I was afraid that I would never eat Nashville hot chicken ever again. But I'm glad that here in Jersey City, they opened up a hot chicken place so I can have hot chicken whenever I want and you can have hot chicken whenever you want too. All my other videos have been about showcasing established restaurants, but this video I wanted to showcase an up and coming restaurant that I firmly believe is a great restaurant. But you know what, enough talk. I'm hungry, the sun is shining, I want some spicy chicken in my mouth. Come on, let's go check it out. So we're back in Journal Square, one of my favorite food spots. I've been here a few times, so I'll just breeze through this. So to get to Twins Hot Chicken, get off at the Journal Square Pass Station and walk down JFK Boulevard, and you'll see it on the left. So we're at Twins Hot Chicken, Nashville style hot chicken. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite fried chicken places in the whole city. So it's lunchtime, let's go in and eat. Let me do the number two combo, one slider and one tender with fries. And can I get one more tender and can I get spicy? And then I'll do that combo with fries, but can I also get a mac and cheese on the side? So let me just show you the decor of this place for a bit. So they got some cool decorations on the wall, as you can see. I uh, really like the color of the tables and the chairs. This little staticky Charlie Brown shirt-like thing. Love at first bite. It was love at first bite for me, for sure. And one thing I just love about this place is this restaurant is just completely spotless. I mean, just look at this. Just look at how spotless this place is. So what made you decide to open a hot chicken restaurant in Jersey uh, City? Well, first, it doesn't exist out here in the East Coast. And I ran into it while I was in the West Coast, and they have a lot of them over there. And I tried it for the first time and fell in love with it, you know. So I decided, you know what, why not bring it here? I wouldn't compare it to Popeye's, to be honest. Popeye's is just regular fried chicken. This one, it comes different heat levels, but the spice blend is what makes it different. The medium would have cayenne pepper in it, but then as you get hot and spicy, it's like a habanero, ghost, reaper, so it's different. All right, guys, I got my food. Let's dig in and let me show you what I got. So I got a chicken sandwich, a whole lot of fries. This mac and cheese is just absolutely to die for. You have no idea. I had to get this. And I got two tenders. I got one hot and one spicy, marked by this ominous sticker here. Let's dig in. I don't want this to get cold. I've been looking forward to this for a while, so let's eat. All right, guys, let's dig in. Let's start with the chicken sandwich first. Now this one, I got medium spicy. Just a heads up, if you've never had Nashville hot chicken, this stuff is really hot. So if you come here, there's gonna be a scale between mild to medium to hot to spicy. So keep in mind that if you're not a big spicy person, medium is already really spicy. So keep that in mind. Medium first, and let's dig in. Mmm, oh. Now this place just opened. It's been open for maybe a month or two. Honestly, I hope this quality stays up because this is some juicy chicken and it's not too spicy. Oh, let me take another bite. Mmm. Let me show you the inside of this chicken. I mean, just look at it. It does not look dry, right? I hate when chicken is dry and basically inedible, but you also can't undercook it because, you know, chicken salmonella, it's not safe. But here, all the chicken is made to order. It's not super fast foody, so it's so juicy and so worth the wait. Mmm. Excellent. Excellent. And the bread that they use too. It may not be a fancy brioche roll or something, but this bread that they're using is not exactly a supermarket cheap shop right bread. Delicious. Let's eat a few more things before I completely demolish that chicken sandwich. Let me show you the fries. I love waffle fries. They make me think of Chick-fil-A, and that's my favorite thing about Chick-fil-A. Let's eat one of these fries. Hmm. Hmm. Mmm. Sorry, one or two more. Mmm. Oh, waffle fries are hard to screw up. Fries already are hard to screw up, but somehow when it's just in waffle form, it's just better. 
Like imagine eating a waffle that was like pancake shaped or something. Now before I continue, I wanna show you this mac and cheese. This is some creamy mac and cheese, dude. Let's take a bite. Oh. Mmm. Wow. Easy Mac, I can never do ever again. Now I don't know what their secret recipe for this mac and cheese is, but I want it. Mmm. Get the mac and cheese here. I'm telling you, it'll blow your socks off. Cleanse the palate first with some orange soda. All right, last we got our spicy tenders. Now this is a hot tender. I love spicy, but we're testing my courage here a little bit. Let's take a bite, and if I release a video after this, you'll know I haven't died. Mmm. Oh. Whew. Let me tell you, that is spicy, but it's not like you can only taste the spice. It's spicy, but it's part of the flavor, if that makes sense. It's not like they just dumped a bunch of cayenne pepper or some Tabasco into this. And once again, just look at how juicy this chicken is. Okay, last but not least, we got our spicy tender. Now this is the hottest tender that they have. It may not look much different from the hot tender, but there's definitely more of this spice blend in there. The hot one was perfect, the chicken sandwich great. Can I handle the spicy one? Let's find out. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, I, I got it. Oh, whew. Actually, at first you're like, this isn't so bad, but it starts to build, it starts to linger. Whew. Oh, oh, now I can handle this. To me, it's like a good pain. But if you don't like spicy, stay away from this because this hot chicken flavor is gonna really linger on your tongue. Just giving you a heads up. Oh, oh, and the soda's just making it worse. It's just spreading it around. It hurts, but it hurts so good. All right, I'm gonna cool down a little bit, so I think that's gonna be it for this video for now. But seriously, check this place out. If you like spicy food, if you like chicken sandwiches, if you like chicken tenders, if you like waffle fries, if you like mac and cheese, check out Twins Hot Chicken. If you don't like spicy food, that's okay. You can get medium, you can get mild. The chicken is made to order, so it still tastes great. The mac and cheese is made to order. It's creamy, the cheese blend is great. Waffle fries are great. Who doesn't like waffle fries? So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Just letting you know, this will probably be my last video in Jersey City for a while. I've decided to branch out UAE Eats to cover areas outside Jersey City, New York City, possibly Philadelphia. Let me know in the comment section if you think there's anywhere that I should eat next. To all my 173 subscribers who have been with me during my Jersey City adventure, thank you so much. You are my first followers and I'll never forget you guys. And I hope you will come with me during the rest of my journey to explore all the great eats everywhere else that I can get to. I don't really have that much else to say. If you like my videos, like and subscribe. I'm gonna finish this amazing chicken sandwich before it gets cold. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you later.